If you think you don't have anything to wear despite your packed wardrobe, you are not alone, my friend. In this video, I'm gonna explain why your wardrobe is full of stuff you don't use and what you can do to start to change this game. Hey, I'm Layana, eco-stylist and founder of Swapa Porte. My mission is to help women to build their dream wardrobe without hurting the planet or the pocket. So to start with, let's clarify what are the three main mistakes people make when they shop for clothes? These mistakes turn wardrobes into an awful headache. The first mistake is to buy on sales. Promotions are tempting, aren't they? You always end up buying anything just because it's a bargain. On these occasions, your criteria drops dramatically. It does not matter if there is a fault, if the clothes don't fit well, most of the time they aren't even your size, but you buy them anyway just to not miss out the opportunity. In most of these cases, that clothing won't be worn because you actually don't like it. It's not flattering. You bought it thinking that you would save money. Conversely, what you did was to waste money on clothes you won't ever use. Every time you buy on sales, your wardrobe becomes more and more packed with useless things. All the money you spent on sales could be invested into divine and good quality clothes you'd use almost every week. You know that old saying, quality overtakes quantity? This is absolutely true. The second common mistake is being influenced by trends and media. Every day we are bombarded with fashion trends through our screens. We are always connected on our mobiles, computers and TV. Therefore, we can't help being influenced by all that viral content displayed on there. Even though you don't follow the New York or Paris Fashion Week, you get to know all fashion trends through celebrities and social media influencers. We are extremely exposed to these images dictated by the fashion industry. That's why we end up being drawn to them. And very often this attraction is not real. They don't actually match either our personality or lifestyle. We only realize this when the trendy clothes are already in our wardrobes. Every time we try to wear them, we feel we are out of our skin. We feel that they don't fit us. As a result, those clothes won't be worn. And one more time, your money was badly invested. The third mistake is compulsive shopping. Going to the shops when we are feeling sad or anxious as a way to forget our problems can turn our wardrobe into a true cemetery of clothes. On these occasions, you probably will buy stuff you don't need just for feeling fulfilled. Wrong. Those clothes will only fulfill your wardrobe. They stay hanging there to remind you how impulsive you were and cause regret. In fact, shopping for clothes can produce some serotonin which will put you in a better mood. However, it has a temporary effect and does not solve your problems at all. Did you relate to any of these mistakes? One, two, all of them? That's fine, everyone makes mistakes. Let me know in the comments below what are your biggest mistakes when you shop for clothes. But Layana, why are you talking about mistakes? I want to know what are the right things to do not the wrong ones. Listen, darling, I'm not here to give you a ready-to-go formula since style is unique and personal. I am here to pass down to you some information, some tools that will make you capable of choosing by yourself what's right for you. To get there, you have to be conscious of your mistakes so that you can watch yourself and force yourself to change behavior because you believe this is the best for you. Having said that, I think you are ready. I'm gonna tell you the golden rule to conquer your dream wardrobe. Be mindful. Some may think that mindful living only includes yoga and meditation. However, it can be applied to many aspects of life, including shopping and style. How? Knowing yourself, your style, identifying what you like and what you dislike. What makes you happy and what don't when it comes to clothes? Firstly, it's crucial to understand the relevance of clothes in our lives. They tell a story. 
mirror our personality and what matters for us. For example, that dress you wore in your first date with your boyfriend, the blazer you were wearing when you got promoted at work, or those sneakers you took on your favorite trip. Our wardrobe is a mix of memories, dreams, a snapshot of your current state of mind. Our clothes aren't just mirrors of ourselves, they also have the power to transform, to make us more confident, happier, and even make us feel special. That's why it's important to choose consciously what covers our skin. Deeply caring about what we wear is not futility, as many people think. It's the exercise of your self-awareness and self-love. If you are not happy with the clothes you have in your wardrobe, probably it's because they don't reflect your personal style. Discovering your personal style takes time and requires lots of experiments. Being honest, it's not an easy path to take, but it pays off. And you have me as an ally to support and guide you. So, the first step is to do a self-analysis, to question yourself before putting anything into your wardrobe. To guide you through this process, I'll give you three questions you ask yourself every time you are facing that clothing either in a dressing room or online shop. Write down these questions because it's very important to take them with you when you go shopping. The first question is, why should I buy this clothing? Try to find the reason behind your will to buy. If the answer is something like, because it's on sales or because it's trendy, stay alert. You can be falling into the mistakes I mentioned in the beginning of this video, remember? I don't recommend you buying this clothing if those are the only reasons you can find. However, if the answer is something like, because it makes me feel comfortable, because I like it, because it highlights a part of my body that I love, so I feel wonderful. Thoughts like these are good signs. But before making the decision, there are two other questions. The second one is, when would I use this clothing? If the answer is something like, I'm gonna wear it for the next gala ball I invited to, when you don't even remember the last gala ball you attended. Who has never bought that alluring dress, but never had the chance to take it out? Yes, everyone has done this before. <laughs> to avoid falling into this trap and the beautiful gown getting moldy in your wardrobe, I recommend you to not buy it. It's only worth taking home a garment which you picture yourself wearing in a previously planned occasion. Now, the last but not the least question. Does this clothing go with other pieces from my wardrobe? If you can remember at least three other clothes that you already own and go with that piece in the shop, and you have thick the box for the other questions I mentioned before, you can buy this clothing with peace of mind. The chances of going wrong are pretty low. Never forget, your wardrobe overhaul begins if you ask yourself the three questions. It will save you a lot of money and considerably reduce your environmental footprint. After all, you will only take home what you want to wear. But Liana, what do I do now with all those clothes I bought by mistake? What if you swapped them with clothes you would like to wear? They are not good for you, but there might be somebody who will love them. Clothing swaps make this come true. If you live in Australia, you are invited to join Swapa Porte, our online clothing swap community on Instagram. Yes, we swap clothes online. It's eco fun and free. If this video generates value to you, please hit the like. This way YouTube understands it's a good content which is worth delivering to more people. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to not miss out the following videos on how to build your personal style and dream wardrobe. See you next time!